This is a marketing and promotions production of the movie The Spear of Saint Katana. This movie is based on the African mythology that has been told over and over by grandparents around the evening fire. It is said that millions of years ago when human ancestors began moving away from staying in caves, mountain crevices, dongles and so forth and so forth, decided to locate into one area where they became very gregarious. Nearby there were dinosaurs, particularly this big one. It swallowed all the villages except a woman who hid herself and a son. Soon the son, Sinkatana, asked his mom where the rest of the people were. His mother told him that they were being swallowed by a huge beast, the dinosaur. She also told him where it was in the valley between two ranges of mountains. On a certain day, Sankatana took two of his mystical spears and went for the dinosaur. He found it, fought against it and ripped open its belly with his mystical spears. All the villagers got out of the belly of the beast saved by the young man Sankatana. Word has it that one of those mystical spears was inherited by King Musheshe, the powerful African king, when he united the different Basotho tribes in the 18th century to form the Basotho nation of Southern Africa. The other mystical spear that has never been found is the pivotal point of the movie entitled The Spear of Sinkatana. In this movie, Shane and his team will go on an expedition to find the missing spear. They will take it and hoist it on top of the mountain. This is the story of the spear of Sinkatani. At this spectacular house, it is where Shane, our leading character of the movie, lives. He lives with his beautiful, intelligent and loving wife, Mpo. This is where, while Shane is asleep, he experiences a recurrent dream he can't interpret. The interpretation to the recurrent dream is provided by an elderly lady who's an office assistant at Shane's workplace at Santon Johannesburg City. On his way to Santon, Shane sometimes drives through Pretoria the city known internationally as the Jacaranda City, to pay homage to his grandfather, who is staying with his sister, who is an architect. Shen Shomi is an IT specialist at this IT firm, where he shares his mysterious dream with his co-workers and the elderly lady. The elderly lady explains that Shane has been chosen by his ancestors to go to the ancient mountains and look for the mystic spear of Sinkatana, which has never been found. She even tells him that he will receive further instructions from an old woman in Lesotho. She tells him where that old woman lives. She explains further that he is chosen on account of his lineage. Hence the link between his name and King Mushesh. Behind me is the Nelson Mandela Bridge, where we will see Shane and his team running 
in part preparation for their physical fitness when they embark on to their expedition to find the mystic missing spear on the ranges of Tababusihu in Lesotho. This is Nanhua Temple, meaning the South Flower Temple in the town of Bronco Spray in the province of Gauteng. At this magnanimous complex, our main character Shane, with Mrs. Yvonne Dlamini, the chairperson of the Pororo IT, with her PA, Sue Lee, and her family members from Hong Kong, visit Sue Lee's brother, who is one of the high-ranking masters at the temple. Deep in the mountain area, the team reaches this village consisting of traditional Basuto huts. The village forms a semicircle shape in line with ancient African philosophies and principles. This is the heart where Mayor Mantatisi lives, the African seer, with a mystic daughter, Mantupa named after the Basotho prophetess of the 18th century. Shane and his team have been directed to her by their elderly co-worker at the Sentinel Tea Company. The elderly lady, in unraveling Shane's dreams, contends that the Meman Tatisi has been chosen by Shane's ancestors to help them in searching for the spear and telling them what to do with it when they find it. The team discusses with her in this hut. She explains a number of issues, including why Shane has been chosen to undertake the mission. His lineage is linked with King Mushreshri, the purpose of the mission, etc., etc. 